morning happy monday happy happy monday so i left these samples over the weekend let's go put this calibration curve onto the uplc please just be a straight line okay let's go Today's Monday, so my PK study starts on Wednesday. So I'm running like a trial calibration curve. In the past, I've seen like some days will be linear, other days it won't. So I want to make sure that it will be linear so that when I run my calibration curve with the actual animal samples, that it will be good. Tomorrow, I will actually prepare the calibration curve again that I will be running alongside my animal samples. So yeah, this is just a trial run, but I need to see, I need to see that is straight so that I can have peace of mind for my animal study coming on Wednesday. Hello, the calibration curve looks good today. I just finished plating my cells, so I'll treat those tomorrow. Concentration of my nanoparticles look good. So everything today that I set out to do was okay. Okay, okay, it was okay. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am back in the office. I need to get my shit together. I really need to just bite the bullet and finish that presentation, even start that presentation, just freaking start that presentation to go to the company to pitch my stuff and do the site tour. Yesterday, I sent out an email to my academic committee to request a date for my meeting for the permission to write. The ball is gonna be rolling. It's already started rolling and I just need to freaking get along with it. I just need to stop procrastinating, stop being afraid and just go. Just, just do it, just do, do it. it. And just freaking do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but today uh, after grooming, I have like I think two experiments to do just treating my cells So I still have to really narrow down on the concentrations that I want to use and then I have to prepare the calibration curves for my three nanoparticles and the free drugs so four calibration curves and That's all for experiments. So I have a lot of time or I should have time to do all of the other stuff <gasps> It'll be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'll check in with you later. Bye. Oh my goodness. It is 3 p.m. now. I know. It took forever to calculate and prepare all of those tubes. So I have four treatments again. So four plates. And each plate I want to try 20 concentrations. Oh my gosh. So it was like all these dilutions. I'm finally ready to treat my cells. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. happy wednesday yeah yesterday oh my gosh yesterday i was so tired i did stay and finish that calibration curve or four calibration curves today is the big animal study not that big but the pk study that i really hope i can finish and correct and get like a nice curve so no jude is doing her pk study first because hers is really short and then i will start after so i'm gonna go prepare my tubes now let's go um, my tubes are labeled. Oh my gosh, I had kind of a scare because I realized I didn't prepare enough of my particles. And then these are the body weight of the mice. So look at some of the labels. <laughs> I differentiate it with two different. Okay, let's see if they focus with two different dots here. I just made a face. These are like the tail markings on the mouse. So yeah, the things you do. <sighs> oh. It is the end of the day and I'm finally preparing the plasma samples from the PK. So it went well. Let me show you. So here are my samples. 
So these ones are on ice right now. Half of them are spinning. This is from the calibration curve yesterday that are now dry. So I have to just tape up the top because there's a hole in each one. Put them in the fridge. And I have toes prepared so that once it's done centrifuging, I'll just take the supernatant, put it in here, add water, and freeze it and life alive. We are almost done. It's going to beep very soon. Oh my gosh, it's one of those awkward things where it's gonna take a while for it to beep. You know, you get the drill. Okay. I'll put you down and let's do this. Oh, there's the beep. There's the beep. Today should be relatively chill. The brunt of the PK study was done yesterday and I'm just going to go take my samples off of the Lyphalyzer, store them, and then get ready for the 24 hour time point. And that's all I have planned for today in terms of experiments. So let's go. So I just have to tape these holes and put them in the fridge. So interesting, so interesting. Let's tape these holes. <laughs> Yay! They are all sealed and properly laid out. So I'm just missing nine samples from today's and this will be ready to run on the UPLC tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. We made it to Friday. I have been doing this PK study all week. Feels like all week, but it's actually just been two days, but preparing for it and stuff all week. Last batch of samples. So I have the samples from the other day, so the calibration curve, previous time points, and this. So today is a day where I'm going to analyze this on the UPLC and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, the curve looks good. Oh my gosh. And at the end of the day is also the IC50 results. So big day for results. <laughs> let's see how much of it is good. Okay, let, let's start, let's start. Weird angle, weird angle. Oh my gosh. Look at all the trash we have to take down today. Ugh. I'm gonna go start the UPLC. And then we can prep this together. Okay, so here's what's happening. I'm starting to label all of the vials for the UPLC vials. These are my samples. This is a calibration curve set and then these are the actual mice samples. I'm super paranoid to start to even like solubilize these samples before being more confident that UPLC is behaving today because last time when I did this study, yeah, there was something wonky going on with the calibration curve. My plan is to first run the blank plasma sample so it's spinning right now and then see if it's clean. If it's clean, then I will start to run my calibration curve and the rest of the samples. This is what Lucas suggested I do because he had like a very similar problem with the UPLC. So yesterday, he showed me how to clean the column. There was like a four-hour run of just cleaning the column so it's nice and clean today hopefully so we'll see how clean it is when I run this blank plasma sample can you see how paranoid I am can you see how paranoid I am like I just want this to work <laughs> <sighs> here's my blank plasma sample so let's run this first and let's see what kind of peak we get Okay, okay, let's just hope this works. Okay, the blank.
blank plasma curve. Looks good. Let's go prepare the rest of the samples and cross your fingers. Actually, let's go try this multi tube vortex on the pole hands bench. I've never tried this before, so let's see how this goes. It'll be faster. Okay, finally I have finished all of my sample prep. So I have one plate and a little bit. So let's see how many hours this will take to run. Oh my gosh, so nerve wracking, so nerve wracking. Let's start this. Nine hours, okay, okay, okay. So it is 10.26 a.m. We'll be done around 7.30 p.m. So around two o'clock I have to treat my cells with the XTT dye. It's 10.30ish now, so I have a bit of time to just write. Or try to write. I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> Hello, I'm in the cell culture. So, I'm going to treat my cells very soon. I'm just waiting for the media and the sample to warm up. I have all my dye here in these tubes. The plan is just to treat the cells, leave them to incubate for a few hours, and then check the absorbents. <laughs> Hello, it is finally the end of the day. I'm finally packing things up. Okay, let me, let me put you down. What a flattering angle. I'm just gonna put you here. Yeah, so I did analyze all of my data for the IC50 curve and my heart was just like <laughs> pretty nervous. But guess what? It worked. All four compounds showed a very nice IC50 curve. And I'm like, what the heck? This is like the second time that I've done it for this set of nanoparticles. And I was like completely shocked because usually it takes like, you know, four, five, six times before I can finally get like a nice curve. So that was very unexpected, but a pleasant surprise. There's two more hours remaining for the PK samples on the UPLC. I just don't even have the brain capacity to look at it right now. So I'm going to turn the instrument off from home remotely via team viewer. And maybe I'll look at the data this weekend, but probably not. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> I guess I'll end the vlog here. Friday evening, 6 p.m. Very good day. One out of two of my experiments worked. So I'll see the rest of the data later. But anywho's, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!